It is so great to see you because I was trying to remember, I think we're almost coming up to a year and a half or so from the last time and first time we did an interview. You've been busy. I have been busy. It's been pretty exciting, actually. Okay, now just give me some quick highlights before we start talking about the new music and stuff and what you've been up to, because I've also been hearing, too, that you did some work with the Juno Awards also, didn't you? The CCMAs. CCMA, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I was the uh, background harmony singer for the house band at the CCMAs. What was that like? Honestly, words can't even describe it. This was my second time being able to do it, and I'm so grateful that I had that opportunity. Um, I got to sing with some incredible musicians, and I, again, words can't describe, and that's such a cliche answer, but oh, it was incredible being up on the stage in front of the crowd with just vibing off of everyone on stage. Oh, it was so cool. And then we were just talking here, too. You made a trip to Italy, didn't you? I was in Europe this summer. I went to Spain and Italy. Uh, I did my master's in Spain, so I went back to visit some friends and then hopped over to visit some family. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry. You just... You, your master's? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a master's from Berkeley College of Music. Uh, they opened a new campus in Spain five years ago, and I was in that inaugural class. So I went back to, uh, to say hi. Okay, wait a minute. CCMAs, Masters, Europe, when the you-know-what did you have time to record any new music? Um, apparently, I'm magical. I don't know. Honestly, people ask me that all the time, and I'm like, I just, I find any minute in a day to do what I need to do, and then I just, I make it happen. Well, you definitely do make it happen. Congratulations on the new music. But before we get into that, let, let's do a quick scenario about your career and how it all got started, because it wasn't always about country music in the beginning, was it? No, it was not. I mean, Shania Twain was the first concert I ever saw. So from the get-go, I was, I was hooked on country pop. Hooked. Uh, but my dad is a bass player, and he played in a whole bunch of bands. He played with my grandfather, his father. And that's kind of where I got started, was playing with them at all these different feasts and festivals throughout the summer all over Ontario, uh, singing Italian music, as well as you know popular and classic rock and some soul. So that's kind of where I, I started. Because you got some powerful vocals. You were also taking, correct me if I'm wrong, you are taking lessons too, right? Oh yeah, I have a, um, a Bachelor of Music for my undergrad from Western in classical music. So you have all of this going on. How did that country music sneak in and take control? Well, like I said, Shania was just always, always there. Um, I listened to a lot of Martina growing up, some Reba. Um, it was just, I always incorporated it into whatever I was doing. Um, I was a black sheep at school, and one of my really good friends was into country music and pop music as well. So the two of us would just get together in a practice room and just sing whatever we wanted that had nothing to do with what we were studying. And it just, it was always kind of a constant there. And then when I graduated from Berkeley, I knew that that, that was the direction that I wanted and needed to go. Now, when we met, it was an EP that you had out, right? Yes, that's right. It was my first one. I don't even like, no one really considers their first one a real thing. That was kind of my like trial record but I'm still really proud of it because again it was my first one but yeah that was the first EP that I had put out. So here you are you have all these things going on when did this uh, album start to you know come together and what were you thinking about because like you said the EP was a bit of an introduction but this one now this is uh, this is the main source this is this is who I am now. It's true uh, so I released Talk to Me a full-length factor funded album last year and I consider that a great stepping stone to this EP that I just released. Um, it has a lot of soul, R&B, and some classic rock influence with country roots. And lyrically, it is very much my story. And uh, I'm a writer on all six songs, which was really important to me. And my co-writers, my producer, the musicians who played on this album, was they were just so incredible and really wanted to tell my story with me. So I'm pretty excited. How does it feel, though, being in an era right now when it comes to country music, just because you say country music and you just said it, I mean, Dean Brody's been doing it, a lot of other artists are doing it too. They're taking all the other influences, whether it be hip-hop, whether it be rock, or whatever, and still making it into an, uh, a different type of country flavor. It's really exciting that country has opened up its arms really to every genre and said, let's just, 
you know, make your music the way you want to. Um, I really admire Maren Morris as well. Her album really got me hooked, and I was like, yeah, I need to, I need to start throwing in my, my true influences in my music. Lady A came out with uh, "You Look Good." It's probably been on repeat a really long time now on my, uh, in my car, uh, and those horns. And I knew, like, I always said, I want horns on some songs. And then I heard that, and I was like, yeah, it's, it's definitely happening now. Well, let's talk about what's the lead single, and tell me a little bit about it, please. Wanderlust is the lead single. Uh, it's got some horns on it. Definitely has what? that soul R&B undertone. Uh, Wanderlust, which means you know the desire to travel and roam about, and that's all I do is play music, write music, and travel. Uh, and I really wanted to emulate that feeling of that you know that excitement you get when you're going somewhere new, whether it's on a road trip or a train or a plane or whatever. Uh, and I think I think we captured that feeling. Well, it captured the feeling that I always get. So you're doing all this traveling. When is that traveling actually going to start being on the shows and on the concerts? Basically, when is a concert tour going to be happening with you, or will it be happening? Oh, I definitely see concert tours in my future. Uh, I just came back from the road, actually. I was on the Via Rail Artist on Board program uh, from Toronto to Vancouver and back. Uh, with my guitar player, and we had so much fun. So we got to play, it was three shows a day on the train for four days, and a couple of station stops both ways. Uh, we played some shows out in Vancouver and Victoria, and they were so welcoming to me. You know, I was like, hi, I'm from Ontario, and I'm new, <laughs> and they were so welcoming, and it was so great, and yeah, so I definitely see more of that happening. I am so looking forward to that. Look, so when we can follow you, whether it be on the train, plane, or vehicle. Where do we go to follow you social media wise so we know exactly where you are anywhere around the world? Instagram is Alessia Cole Music. Uh, Facebook as well, same thing, Alessia Cole Music. Twitter, Alessia C Music. And YouTube, Alessia Cole Music. And my website as well, AlessiaCole.com. Looking forward to all this. Congratulations. And you know what, more importantly, thank you for having so much fun with music because you're bringing that for us too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.